Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. All right, so let's see. I was taking a shower and uh, about 10 seconds into me taking my shower, my phone goes beep boop, beep 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 boop, boop, and it just keeps spamming. And I realized it's because people were sending me messages on Twitch and YouTube about uh, this new upcoming MMORPG, which I've been following for a little bit, uh, not too much, uh, but it's a game called Skyforge, which actually I've taken a liking to. Uh, it's coming out... Yeah, no sound, please. Alright, it's coming out. Um, actually, I can't tell you what it's coming out, but the, this upcoming beta is being released on March 11th. So, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this game. Uh, commonly, of, you know, the most commonly asked question in any game you play. Actually, there's two. Is, is it free to play? And to my knowledge, it's a yes. Um, I, I searched it a little bit. The wiki says it's free to play. I'm assuming this is the right wiki. 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 It says it's free. I'm assuming, I, I could be wrong, maybe this is a different Skyforge. Um, but it, when I read through it, it, it seemed like the same Skyforge. So I'm pretty sure it's free to play. I could be wrong, and I apologize if I'm wrong. But anyway, they just released the Founder Packs about 15, 16 hours ago. And I want to talk about this, because the Founder Packs in games is like the stepping stone into a great game or to pay to win. It really is. Like, I, I swear to you, it really is. So I want to talk to you guys about these Founder Packs. So... For people who don't know what a founder pack is, it is a supporter pack that you purchase before the game is out to show your contribution to the game, you know, if you want to support them, and then they reward you with certain aspects of the game, slash in-game items, slash whatever it is they choose to do. So, first off, I want to state, so I'm looking at my other screen because I want to make sure the webcam is not blocking anything. Uh, NA and EU are pretty much the same thing. The only thing is the, the price variant of, you know, euros to uh, US dollars. So... Let's so let's start with the basic. The basic one is twenty dollars. Now I will say that for an MMORPG, if you want to buy into the beta, twenty dollars seems like a pretty low price. I think most games these days is like thirty to fifty to buy into a beta, or maybe it's just because they buy into an alpha. I'm not really sure, but regardless, please note that this is not buying into the game. This is this is giving them a contribution to allow yourself to play and help support the game. The game's not fully out. A lot of people are like, "Why well, I paid $50 for beta and the game sucks. The game's not out yet. This is your chance to submit bug fixes, you know, give them your feedback, explain what you think is, you know, broken about the game. And you can you can actually give them feedback. This is the, the point of betas and alphas. Uh, you know, they do, they do stress tests. They do a bunch of stuff. Now, I do believe that the way Skyforge's beta works, could be wrong on this as well, is it's not the Arcage style, which a lot of you guys may be aware of on my, on my YouTube where they take the servers, the servers go up for five months, and then they take them down and they release the game. Uh, they have like scheduled event betas, where it's like, I don't know exactly how long Skyforge does, but it's going to be like a prolonged period of time, and then they take down the servers, and then you wait, and then, you know, the next beta event will be on this date, and then you, etc. So, let's talk about these supporter packs really fast. Alright, we've got the basic one, the early access edition, um, which comes with early access to the closed betas, which for example would be, your account is guaranteed access to closed beta tests, information on the start of the next Skyforge beta test can be found on skyforge.com. Early access to the Skyforge open beta. Purchasing the founder pack will grant you early access several days in advance of the start of open beta. Now, I don't know if open beta is the official release date for them. If it is, I guess it's cool you get a couple days in advance, I am not too fond of of uh, paying for early act like like three days of a head start. I don't know if this is actually what it is. This might be something entirely different. But if it is, oh well. So anyway, you get a badge and title on the portal, uh, which is let's see, uh, players who purchase this founder pack will each receive a special badge and the title of ascendant in their profile on the form arts at the start of the open beta. Okay, it's fine. It's just art. Name transfers from closed beta to open beta. So this would just lock your character in. So, boom, you know, if you want your character. It's all totally acceptable so far. I accept this one I don't really like. Um, these are Argent's credits, which is for the in-game cash shop, uh, which they would call a marketplace. And then uh, you have premium account for seven days. I'm assuming is a subscription um, for a premium. So... All in all, I guess if you were to look at just just for for now for this right here, this this bulk, 
Badge in the portal is fine. Name transfer is fine. Credits, we don't know what's in the marketplace. You know, they could have experience in there. You, you could have, They could have a, a plethora of stuff, or they could keep it to strictly cosmetics. I haven't played yet. I haven't done that much research. This is just, just to show you guys, boom. You know, I'm going to be playing in the, in the uh, closed beta coming up in March 11th. April. Is it March? February, March, yeah. So I could give you a lot more information there. And then, of course, you have the premium account. I'm a huge fan of games with a subscription, uh, simply because when you have a subscription, everyone paying for the subscription has the same benefits, and it kind of pulls them away less from pay to win. Of course, like I'm saying, because they, they generate income from a subscription now, opposed to you have to buy this at the marketplace. But, you know, any game can do whatever it is that they feel like doing. All right, so let's talk a little bit more, and let's scroll down here. So if you look at... Um, I don't know if I went over this already. If you look at the Early Access ones, each one, they have Early Access Edition, Rage of the Berserker Extended Edition, Wrath of the Gods Ultimate Edition. The only thing that changes or varies would be, I guess your, your title here would be Divine, uh, Immortal, Ascendant. Uh, yeah, so the only thing that really changes then, aside from that, your form name or badge, would be your credits go from 10,000 to 20,000 to 40,000 and your premium account goes from 7 days to 30 days to 60 days. All right, so we're going to scroll down here a little bit and we're going to look at this section right here. Let's scroll this down. All right, perfect. So, uh, in here you have a a traveler capsule which I don't really know what it does. It says the bronze traveler capsule contains many useful items normally found by completing adventures which will help you quickly progress in Skyforge. Uh, the capsule can be opened in-game upon completing starting quests and trading quests. Oh, the starting and trading quests. Yeah. Um, and these each do the same thing. I guess each one has different grades or maybe more quantity. Not 100% sure. Uh, then we have a costume. It just says it's a basic costume. Actually, it looks pretty badass. Um, so yeah, that's fine. And then you have the next section, which you get, you unlock classes. But I went to go confirm about this, and uh, it says here, one click to change class with a variety of character of character classes and freedom of switching between them. Players will enjoy discovering each class's skills and powers. All classes can be developed simultaneously, allowing players to swap classes on the go depending on your mood or current game situation. Now I'm pretty confident to say that you can unlock these classes without you know having to pay, just because it says. Uh, unlock the the class immediately rather than not immediately and then by paying for the wrath of the gods ultimate edition you unlock the gunner as well as a mount so overall um it looks pretty standard i'm happy to see there's no packs that are like you know six thousand dollars and crazy amounts of shit because uh it's nice when you keep it simple when it's simple like this it's it's simple you know like there's not I don't like seeing a pack that's, you know, at times $6,000 and then in the cash shop you can just buy everything and just break the market like day three. And so this is this is a decent start. You know, like I said, things to my concern, which could possibly all be alleviated when I get more information on the game, would be this, this early access, uh, the credits, because I don't know what's in the cash shop, and the premium account, I have no care. Like, that's fine. Like, if, if I'm going to play a game, I'm going to want to support it, I'm going to give them some type of money. Paying a subscription is the most common way to do it. So, overall, I'd say it looks pretty good. Uh, the graphics and stuff looks awesome. I will get you guys some content when I actually start playing the game. But if you guys want to check the game out, I will link it down below so you guys can see that. It looks pretty neat. Uh, one cool thing I wanted to talk about was... Uh, where is it? Is it here? Here you go. Inspired by the best action combat console games, we've improved the traditional target system and turned the old point-and-click style combat into spectacular animated action that will always be entertaining and satisfying. You'll dodge enemy attacks and perform powerful combos and vanquish your enemies well, with devastating finishing attacks. So it looks pretty interesting. I'd like to give it a try. I haven't played an MMO in a couple months, really. And, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty interesting. I'm kind of excited to get into it. Looks pretty pretty beautiful too. I might have to actually upgrade my computer, put like 1K down, get a new computer. But we'll see with that. 
Anyway, though, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to keep you guys updated as always. So I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming on twitch.tv slash pox majority of the day. That's a lie, like six hours a day. So I hope you guys have had a good time. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.